The project shown in this video can be found in the textbook Technical Drawing 101 with AutoCAD available from SDC Publications. In this video I'm going to show you how to do the chimney in the front elevation and this is on the cabin project which is chapter 12, the final cabin in your technical drafting book. So the first thing that I want to do is go ahead in this uh, floor plan view I'm going to go ahead and project down where the actual chimney is. I've already got it drawn out here so I can just use construction lines to project where it's going to be in my front elevation. I've just set layer zero current. If you have a construction line layer or a layouts layer or something like that you can um, set that layer current. I'm going to go to draw construction line and I'm going to do V for vertical and I'm just going to project straight from here to here exactly the width of my fireplace. Looks good and I'm going to do that same command and this time I'm going to do horizontal lines projecting from the important parts that I need to know here. So I've got the top of the chimney and then I've also got where it ends and where that six inch flashing ends as well. Now that I've got everything taken care of over here I'm going to set my elevations layer current and I'm just going to trace over the area that I need to draw it. Now this really kind of turns out to be a rectangle, so I'll just start the rectangle command there. And then I'll go into the line command and I'm going to draw a line going all the way down to the foundation. I'm using O-Track here. And let's see, let's draw a line going straight down from here to here and really it kind of ends up being a little rectangle where that flashing is right there as well. So I believe I've done everything I need with my construction lines. I'll go ahead and delete those out. I like to delete them as I go just to kind of make it a little less confusing. And now I'm going to do my trim command and I'm just going to trim out everything that I don't need here. Alright, that looks good. Only a couple more steps that I need to do here. You can insert this guy, uh, the chimney cap was, was a block that we did. You can either insert that block again and put it right where you need it or just copy the one that you have. Looks good and we're going to do an offset command to get that four inch trim. Remember the note says there's four inch trim on all corners of the house so we'll just offset to get that four inch trim. Looks good. And technically, I think we did it on this side. There was like a one inch overhang over here, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to explode this, and then I'll just offset by one inch on either side. I'll erase out my original little lines here. And then I'm just going to go into my favorite command, fill it with a radius of zero. So fill it. I'm going to do M for multiple. and then just square off all of these corners. Beautiful. Alright, so I've got my chimney taken care of in my front elevation.